The kindness of strangers makes the world go round. Welcome to The Hopefulist, a daily talk show hosted by veteran broadcaster Wendy McClure. Join Wendy each day as she shares her life lessons that transformed her from perpetual pessimist to the ultimate hopefulist. The perfect morning show to get you caught up on the day's top stories while sharing insights that will lead to positive transformation and bring out the hopefulist in you. For more inspiration, visit hopefulist.com. And now, here's your host and hopefulist, Wendy McClure. Friday, Friday, Friday. Woohoo! We made it to Friday, people. Are you as excited as I am? I'm raising the roof here. I know you can't see me, but trust me. Raising the roof. Welcome to the Hopefulist. Thank you so much for joining me for your daily dose of inspiration and positivity. Today's quote of the day We don't have to agree on anything to be kind to one another. True? I think so. Some exciting news here in the Northeast once again. If you are near a Wawa, if you have Wawas, the very first drive through Wawa has opened. That's right. This is in West Hampton, New Jersey. drive through hours will be 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. From what I understand, there is a uh, specific menu that you order from. It's going to be interesting. A lot of people love getting their coffee at Wawa first thing in the morning. And uh, now you can uh, do it from the comfort of your own car. Sounds really good on this freezing morning. 25 degrees we are experiencing right now. And I can tell you, speaking for me and Tucker, we don't like it. We don't like it. I had been sitting on the couch, and she was, like, as far up close to me as she could possibly be, laying on top of the blanket. And I was getting up, so I felt a little bad because I know that she was snuggling up so close because she's cold. She has her sweater on. But when I got up, I wrapped her in the blanket. And when I came back in, (laughs) she's burrowing her head under the blanket. I posted a picture of it on the group page if you want to check it out. Um, You can barely see her. You can see her collar. (laughs) She's just sticking her head as far in to that blanket as she can possibly go. So a day like today would be a perfect day to try the new drive through in West Hampton, New Jersey. I'm waiting to see how many people will be like, can you just grab like um, some coffee creamer off the shelf for me too? (laughs) They have to have strict rules in place to start or else people are going to be taking advantage, taking advantage of all of it. So we shall see how it goes. It's not anywhere near me. I will not be experiencing the drive through but this is just the first one. There will be more to come. And I would think that a lot of them have the room for them now because, again, if you're familiar with Wawa, they have the Super Wawas now, which are much larger than the old time Wawa's, which was like, you know, a 7-Eleven, which was, you know, at the end of a little, you know, shopping center or whatever. These are like standalone. They've got gas pumps and there's usually tons of room. And they have very ample parking, even though you still can't find a parking spot at times. You can. It's just in the back, a little too far to walk. Some of the Wawa's, and I see these a lot in Pennsylvania, not so much in New Jersey for some reason... They have entrances in the front and in the back, which really helps with the parking situation because the Wawa that we have right by our house, there's a ton of parking in the back, but you can't get in from the back. You have to walk all the way around. It's a long walk, especially on a cold morning like this in 25 degrees. So there should be plenty of room to expand this idea. So I'm sure that this is some sort of experiment to see how well it goes, working the kinks out of it, what works, what what doesn't work, all of that sort of thing. And then hopefully they'll be popping up everywhere because, you know, we're all lazy. We don't want to get out of our car. No, we don't. Same thing with the Starbucks, right? There's a not a lot of drive through Starbucks in our area. 
they are starting to pop up a little bit more, but predominantly they are standalone in a shopping center. Um, you have to get out of the car and go inside to get your coffee. When you do find a Starbucks with a drive through get ready to wait. I don't think I have ever been in a Starbucks drive through with less than five or six cars ahead of me. In fact, Joe and I were out shopping a couple of weekends ago, and I said I wanted to stop at Starbucks and get me a, a peppermint mocha. And there were so many cars. I'm telling you, there was like eight or nine cars in line. So we went inside, and you know, I've learned you might as well just sit in the car because you're competing with the takeout orders anyway. So we we ended up waiting a long time for the drink to be served to us. I don't know how they go about, you know, taking turns for, you know, one drive-thru order, one in-store order, one drive-thru. I don't know how they do it. But we waited quite a while inside as well. So might as well just stay in the nice, warm, toasty car with your radio and your heat and all of that stuff. Now I want a peppermint mocha. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wanted to have some fun today with your penguin name. These are really funny. I am loving the penguin names. So I posted it on the Hopefulist page, and it gives you a chart, the first letter of your first name, and then you pair it with your birth month. Mine came out to be Waddle Butt McWaddle. <laughs> I feel like that's summing up my weight right now. Waddle Butt McWaddle. Now, my husband is Blizzy Fluffball. Well, that's something about Fluffball I love. I love Fluffball. I wish I was a Fluffball. Joanne is a Fuzzy Fluffball, which I love. Congratulations, Joanne. You've got the best penguin name ever. Michelle says Beaker Hopperton. <laughs> <laughs> Megan is Beaker Frost Buns. Tracy is I'm Duke Fluff Pants. Fluff Pants is pretty cool, too. Carol, Icy Fuzzdom. Fuzzdom. That's a weird word. Lauren is Fuzzbutt Hops a Lot. Larissa is Fuzzbutt Winterton. And Deb is Arctic Fish Buns. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So funny. So much fun. So on to the blog post for today. Did I mention that it's one week from Christmas? One week from Christmas. <laughs> Such a nerd. I really am like a four-year-old at Christmas time. I love Christmas. I love giving gifts. I love getting gifts. I love the togetherness at Christmas time. I love the magic. That is in the air. So um, I hope you can get a little bit of sense of wonder this holiday season because it truly is magical and it makes life so much more fun. So the kindness of strangers. That's great for this time of year too, right? Have you ever had a compliment from a stranger make your day? Yeah, me too. It's something so simple yet something we so rarely do. It's so easy to just float a compliment to someone in an elevator or waiting in line. Now, it should be heartfelt, so if you see something you like, go ahead and shout it out. I often tell people I don't know things I like about them, whether it be their bag, shoes, coat, nails, whatever. Don't make something up, but when you see something, say something. I chased a woman down at our community Christmas tree lighting last year to tell her how much I loved her coat and ask her where she got it. She was thrilled to give me the information and tell me what a great deal she got. Obviously, I had an ulterior motive here. I wanted that coat, which I was never able to find, by the way. But she didn't mind answering my questions because she appreciated how much I loved her coat. I've talked about before how I'm an over-tipper. I consider this part of my charitable donations. As a former server, I know what a really good tip can do for my day. And I love to return the favor from when someone did that for me. 
I also remember tipping a gas station attendant a few years back on Christmas Eve. Uh, again, I live in New Jersey. We do not pump our own gas here, thank goodness. So it's not unusual to get our gas pumped for us. And no one really tips for it. But I did a few years back. It was Christmas Eve. I had to gas up on my way to visit family. And I clearly remember seeing his face light up as I gave him a couple of bucks. I gave him $5. He probably hasn't thought of it since, but it has been bringing me joy for a couple of years now. And I will probably do it again. It's also good to slow down once in a while. See if anyone could use some help. Is there a woman struggling to get that shopping cart out of the corral? Or maybe someone needs some help grabbing something off a high shelf at the store. My husband is 6'4". And he says he's asked a lot by us shorter ladies to grab something off the tall shelf for them. (laughs) If you see someone struggling with something, offer to help if you can. Hold the door for someone. Let someone in line in front of you. Slow down a little bit. Let people cross the street in front of you. Stop being in such a hurry. It's something that takes so little time but can make a difference in how we spread kindness in this world. Be a super spreader, but the good kind of super spreader. As you go through this weekend, think about a few things that would offer more kindness into the world. It's even better if you don't know them. But if you do, that's great too. And a little bonus is that when you offer kindness, it usually comes back to you. Oh, it is the weekend. And again, one week from Christmas. Who's excited besides me? Anyone? Anyone? Come on. I know some of you are. I just love Christmas. Have a fantastic weekend. Please, please be safe in whatever you do. And happy Cocktail Friday, y'all. Now go on out there and be badass. I'm right here cheering you on. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit Hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Friday, Friday, Friday.